Hey there, my name is Mahdi and welcome to this video. This video is from the Ultimate Block Course playlist. If you haven't watched the previous parts, please watch them first and then come to this video. Qubit is a subset of the block that does not rely on events and instead uses methods to emit new states. This is so simple, so let's get started with a simple project. In this project, we want to implement the counter based project with block and qubit. And let's see the differences. As I said, there is no special difference, but qubit is much simpler and we use methods instead of events. First, I use the block class itself. Well, as you know, when we use block, we need to define classes for events. And you know that we have to define an abstract class and then other classes extended. Because in the end, all events must have the same type. I explained about it in the previous parts. So, if you want to learn block from scratch, be sure to watch the previous videos. And then, block requires us to register event handlers using the onEvent API. An event handler is responsible for converting any incoming events into zero or more outgoing states. As you can see, in order to create a block, we must define our own events in the form of classes and then register the event handler for those classes. Well, defining the events and registering them will take our time and we have to write more code. So, to make our work easy, instead of using block, we can use qubit. In qubit, instead of defining classes for events and then registering them, we can define methods and use those methods. This is so easy. Now, as you can see, we defined two methods named increment and decrement in qubit class and we can call these two methods whenever we want. To call the events in the block, we must use the add method and then pass the event class to it. But in qubit, it is enough to do it this way and only call the method. I can say that the difference between block and qubit was the only things I mentioned. And as you can see, qubit is much simpler. But block has an advantage that we don't have in qubit, and that is advanced event transformations. Block has an event sync that allows us to control and transform the incoming flow of events. For example, if we were building a real-time search, we would probably want to debounce the request to the backend in order to avoid getting rate limited as well as to cut down on cost on the backend. With block, we can provide a custom event transform to change the way incoming events are processed by the block. With this code, we can easily debounce the incoming events with very little additional code. Compression of block and qubit is over. In next project, we will try to use qubit instead of block. See you in the next video.